BeachFM kick off sports breakfast show with HMC Car Fee, your local authorised care and Suzuki sales and service agent, and now your local AA Auto Centre. At HMC Carpety, the journey just gets easier. Find out how easy online at hmccarpety.co.nz. You're back on the Kickoff Sports Breakfast Show on Beach FM 106.3. Let's talk some football now. And let's welcome back to the show from Kapiti Coast United Football Club. It's Andrew Elms, better known as Elmo. G'day, Elmo. How you going, Damien? Morning. I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing? Oh, we're um, all good. Um, kind of building up to a, a crescendo at the club with um, finishing of leagues and... Um, and commencements of cups and semi-finals and and whatever. So it's uh, going to be an exciting weekend. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. And um, we are near the end, or if not the end for some people, but uh, 2020 and a half as a season as a club, was it a good one? Um, It's been a successful one given the circumstances, yes. (laughs) Um, um, We've we've come through. there's been a lot of shining lights throughout the club that have, have, have kept it going. And the club members themselves, you know, bravo to them. Um, they've kind of grabbed what they can this season and been well behind the club. So that's 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 awesome. Fantastic, mate. Well, last weekend uh, we, we missed you as we as we uh, you were in the bush, I, I think, uh, doing something. But uh, but uh, I'm sure there's uh, there was lots uh, being played, lots of things to talk about and happening this weekend. Oh, definitely. I'll probably um, mix it around this, this this week. I'll actually say what's actually on. Um, we we start today um, at an early start at 10.45. Um, usually our juniors are kind of marooned out at um, Maze and Garb to play their games. Um, so we have a 14th, 15th grade, two KCU sides. We're um, showcasing them on um, on Wacker One to give them a, a taste of um, of um, senior life. So um, we'll have the nets up and, and the hoardings out and um, food afterwards and the rest of it. So um, um, it'll be good good to actually kind of give back to the juniors and um, and let them have their kind of um, show, showcase down at down at Wacker. So that's the um, 14, 15 A's versus B's um, kick off at 10.45. That's um, swiftly followed by um, 12.30 our reserves, men's reserves play. Um, they're kind of fighting um, relegation, so that's a kind of um, a must, must win. And followed... Um, Straight after that, at two thirty, um, by our first team, who um, they have got um, Waterside Karori at, at home. Um, they've consolidated their place in the um, in staying in in um, Cap One. So um, um, good on you guys. And I think we have an, on Weka Two um, at two thirty. We have the. Um, the KCU Force, they're actually playing in the bowl semi-final. It sounds like a Briscoe sale, really. We're all into cups, bowls, and plates at the moment. Um, so they've got the Hawks um, on Wacka 2, so a bumper day down at Wacka. Um, the rest of the fixtures, we um, have the Corinthians. They're away in the, in the Masters division, so they're away to Petone, and they're playing for runners-up spot. Um the Hearts um, were supposed to be in the Cup semi-final, but they've had a um, default, so they're straight through to the final, and they will await the winners, uh, winners of the Sopranos and um, KCU Sopranos and Pycock in the final next week. Um, from last week, the Hearts were crowned champions of Div 1, and the Sopranos will run us up, so uh, congratulations to um, both teams there. Um, our women's prems, um, they finished last week, um, even though they had a, a narrow loss to Brooklyn North, um, Northern, um, and they finished third in their league. Um, our reserves women's, um, exceptional year. They've taken out both Division Three title and Division Two. Um, Division 2 was unbeaten. Last week they had a 6-0 win in against Victoria University Unified in the executive plate. 
and they're away in the semi-final at St. Pat's on at um, quarter to one tomorrow. Um, in the other HK um, fixtures for tomorrow, we've got, as I say, we've got the Force versus the Hawks at Wecker. The Barbars um, are, have got the Coasters, Waikanae Coasters at Mason Garb. The Hearts Reserves have got a bye, and the Thirds are in the plate semi-final against the Jets at Jim Cook. Um, our under-17s had a 5-3 win versus Wainui Mata in, in the Cup last week, but um, they've got a bye this week, or, or friendly. And continues tomorrow, um, we've got the social playing down at Wacker at 1pm. Um, they're playing the Irish, so... Um, yeah, we used to get totally thrashed by them, so um, hopefully tomorrow we can... Um, the luck of the Irish is, is not with them. And um, prior to that, down there at Wacker, we've got the under-19 trials um, for the um, national tournament in Napier in October, um, and that's uh, a meet at 10.45 for an 11 o'clock start, so all welcome from KCU and, and beyond um, if there are any um, under-19s, you know, Otaki, Pycock, whatever else on the coast, then um, get on down. Yeah, it's all, all happening this weekend. Fantastic stuff, mate. Just one last thing, Damien, if I could. Yeah, of course. Um, we have a pink ribbon walk planned for the November the 7th um, for in aid of um, breast cancer. So registration and info, um, I'll give you probably more info next week, but um, registration and info, um, just go to our web or, or Facebook um, for details. Um, great cause and, and hopefully um, yeah, everybody get fit and healthy in doing so and, um, and help with great, great cause. That's the one. Cheers, Elmo. I always appreciate your time, mate. Go well. Cheers, Damien. Thanks.